I don't usually do videos in this kind of format, but I think there's something really important that I need to tell you about. You know me. My name is Luna. I'm a bit of a sweet tooth. I'm a little, I, 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 I eat a candy from time to time. I want to say I'm a candy expert, but I haven't had like every single candy that exists because a lot of them don't look very good and I don't want to put them in my mouth. But I am pretty well informed. Also, I'm Canadian, so uh, there's probably a couple things I could tell you about candies that you never even heard about. Anyways, the crux of this story is that this one night, um, not too long ago, I was at a drugstore and I picked up this little bag of candy called Red Band Sour Suckers. I usually call them Sour Keys because they look like keys, but they're Sour Suckers. And these are maybe the best sour candy I've ever had. They're definitely a 10 out of 10 as far as candies go. They're not for everybody, but they are everything that I could ever want. And they are so scarce and like hard to find sometimes that I feel like it is my duty to make this video to make sure that they are not lost in the sands of time. So these guys come in two flavors. They come in uh, red and yellow and green and orange. And there's usually a, a slightly different ratio for each candy of like how much color there is. Um, it's not always 50-50. It's usually more in favor of one of the colors. But there's always two colors. Full disclosure, I don't know what these flavors are. The red and yellow one, I want to say, is grape and lemon. And the green and orange... I'm pretty sure it's lime and orange. The grape and lemon is almost, it, it's its like a flavor that I have never tasted before. It's kind of like a, it kind of has the tartness of like a Coca-Cola mixed with some kind of like tangy fruit. It's almost violent and it's weird, but in like a good way. The green and orange, the, the lime orange one has kind of more of a tame, just basic citrusy acidic flavor that is a little bit more familiar, but it's also definitely not the kind of candy flavor that you'll usually get in a bag of candies, unless you eat two at the same time. So you've got the grape lemon one that kind of tastes like a, a, a like a discontinued illegal Mountain Dew flavor. And then you've got the lime orange one that's a little bit tamer, but also does taste like a flavor of Mountain Dew that's still on the shelves um, at, at Taco Bell. And those are the two those are the two flavors that you get, and that's all you need. Sometimes you'll get like a mutated kind, but that doesn't really count because they're like very rare, but they're also very good. The sourness is very potent. It's got a lot of sour sugar sprinkled all over the outside, and it will probably hurt the roof of your mouth if you eat as many of them as I do in one sitting. And that is obviously going to be a turnoff for some people, um, but it is the violence of them that is that I like a lot that I don't get in any other kind of sour candy. Like I guess sour patch kids are pretty sour, but they're not as they're not as violently sour as these ones are. I also want to talk about the texture. They they are chewy, but they're extremely tough. It's taxing on your jaw to actually chew these and eat them and break them down in your mouth. A lot of them when you've just purchased a bag are so tough that you're actually able to crack them in your mouth so that they they break off clean into a couple little shards. Not everyone is going to like that about them, but it's definitely something that I really like and does not happen in any other candy that I can think of. Every sour gummy that I've eaten besides these that I can think of are soft, which I think detracts from the kind of edge that candies like Sour Patch Kids are going for. They, they're not really that sour, and they're also very easily eaten. Um, they're, they're not really a challenge to eat the same way that these Sour Keys are, which I guess isn't necessarily a good thing. Um, like, I don't like really messy burgers that are a challenge to eat, but these, I think, are leaning into the way that they're that sour candy is often marketed as like a as like lethally sour in a very effective way. I honestly, they could have packaging with like an evil tiger on it, and I think that would fit perfectly. When I went back to that drugstore to find that same candy, um, they were all sold out. I'm pretty sure that was the last one that they had was the one that I got, and. 
I've been able to find them in maybe two other stores. Um, one of them was the same location that I got the last one from, and the other was a grocery store with many locations, but this is the only location that actually had them. The scarcity of them, I think, makes them higher in my head because every time I have them, it's like a surprise for me. But I am a little bit scared that they're going to continue getting more scarce. So please, if you can, order some of their delightful little candies and let me know if you like the, this video, if you, and if you think I should make more videos where I talk, or some more videos where I talk about candies, you you tell you talk to me now. If you think that I should kill a guy on live TV, comment down below and say, great video, guys. Thanks. Guys, this is an update on my video. I got more of these candies, and I think there's actually three flavors. The red and yellow ones were actually two different flavors. There's a maroon and yellow that I was talking about in the video that's kind of like a grape lemonade type flavor and then there's also yellow and a brighter shade of red that's sort of like a strawberry rhubarb also I recently went to a store that didn't originally have these sour suckers and I went into the candy aisle and not only did they have them there but they also had tons of them in the bulk candy aisle so there's actually tons of them now just because I started recording this video God heard my prayers and put them in the store so don't worry guys it's awesome anyways don't forget to subscribe don't forget to try to subscribe. And everybody, if you're subscribed, don't forget to, to ask other friends to subscribe. And if you're not subscribed, just make sure that you subscribe.